Bobby Eldred here in Phoenix, Arizona. I told you I had something special this week coming from the Greenbrier. A couple of ones, a 61 and a 64. What do you think of this? I mean, a hole in one on Sunday by George McNeil uh, after he made three or four birdies in a row. Then he shoots 61 and it looks like all day long that he might be there at the end. But Angel Cabrera closed like a champ. First victory in the United States. And then, of course, the hole-in-one in the middle of the week where the owner ran around and gave out $100 bills at the 18th hole. A great week of golf. Some players are going to the Scottish Open. Some are going to John Deere. And some get an invitation to go to Glen Eagles with Tom Watson and show him what they know. And, oh, by the way, there's your 64. 64 years old, making the cut, finishing in the top 20. Unbelievable. Even beat a potential Ryder Cupper. Hey, listen, I have a tip for you. I want you to think about it long and hard. It's about yardage. A lot of you can dial in and go, oh, I'm 189 or 144. Here's the tip. First of all, where's the trouble? Is it long or is it short? That's important. Second of all, don't always go with your 100% shot. For instance, let's say from 160, you always hit a six iron. Well, if there's trouble in front of the green, think of your 80% shot. Where would this go if I kind of hit it a little thin or a little heavy? Not your 100%er. That will get you in trouble every time. Think 80%. If I don't catch it perfect, where would this six iron go? Hey, number two, I've got something special coming this week. So stay tuned and make sure you open your emails and send these off to your buddies. I've got a real treat for you. Take care and thank you.